Hello, we're back again. So while I was not totally impressed with the Bath and Body Works summer, Goose Creek came out uh, swinging. Um, I have 10 candles from Goose Creek that I bought. Um, some I got the end of spring, some I had just got in maybe a week or so ago, um, but I wanted to share all of them with you. I hope that nobody's bored because there's not really a bad fragrance in the mix. Big news on Goose Creek. Uh, I did want to tell you that they've started putting their notes on the bottom, which is like, you know, for me, amazing. So I don't have to look up everything and write it down on a piece of paper. Um, so really happy about that. They have a bunch of different style jars this summer, a lot of different graphics. In the spring, they had some really pretty things too. Um, but like I said, I've, spring fragrance isn't really like my jam. Um, but I literally couldn't stop picking them out for summer. So I have 10 candles. I'm gonna share them with you. Um, mostly hits, some that were just okay, but I, I don't think there are any misses here. So I'm gonna start out with the one that I think I liked the least. Uh, and this is Drenched Daffodil. And again, I'm kind of done with florals at this point in the year, but um, I wanted to share it with you. The notes here are daffodils, sweet pear, dew drops, jasmine, and sandalwood. To me, this just smells like standard floral. Um, I'm not really getting anything that designates like a daffodil. I'm definitely not getting any pear. Um, I guess I can kind of get that jasmine and sandalwood at the end. But to me, this, this just smells like a flowery candle. It's not bad in any way, but I've, I've seen daffodil and I've smelled daffodil done a lot better. So if Florals, your jam, maybe you'll like this, um, but if you're looking for something a little more specifically daffodil, maybe try a different brand. Um, it's, it's okay, it's not great. Again, probably my least favorite of this bunch that I have. Okay, next up I wanna share with you this one. Let's go this way. We'll kinda go through the florals and hit the fruits on the way out. So this is Hibiscus Fruit Punch. Isn't this so cute? I love this label, I think this is so pretty. Um, again, they're all kind of different and they all look like they're, you know, somebody took the time to do something nice. I, I really like them. Um, the notes on this one are hibiscus, or I'm sorry, midnight hibiscus, raspberries, strawberries, and sugary fruit punch. I really like this one. My sister though was over and she said that it smelled kind of like hairspray and now I can't get that out of my head. It's not bad, but it does smell like maybe a shampoo or something like that. Um, you get the floral immediately. And then you definitely can smell the raspberry in here. Definitely get that raspberry in the mid note. It's very heavy in there. So I think I'm getting mostly raspberry, a little floral at the beginning, um, and maybe that hint of fruit punch at the end. I'm not sure I'm getting that so much, but this one's, this one's nice too. Um, probably not my favorite again, but not bad at all. Okay, this is gonna be a long video. Next up, I'm going to go with, this one is Lemoncello. And again, they had a whole collection of this kind of like tile sort of, um, it was giving very like rustic Italian sort of style uh, labels and I thought they were so cute. And this wasn't my favorite label, but I didn't think I'd like the other fragrances so much, um, but the other labels were so cute too. Uh, the notes here are Sicilian Lemon, Mandarin zest, ice, and vanilla sugar. Okay. I like this very much. Um, it's a little more sharp and a little more tart than that sugared lemonade from Bath & Body Works, um, but not quite as earthy and sharp as the Amalfi lemon from Bath & Body Works. So somewhere in the middle of those two, this one lands. Um, it's, it's tart at the beginning, but then sort of softens out at the end. And maybe that's the, maybe that's the ice and vanilla there at the end. Um, again, I love a lemon fragrance in the summertime. I think it smells so good. It brightens up your home. It's definitely not like a lemon pledge. Um, so it doesn't, it doesn't smell chemically or anything like that. I really like this one, Lemoncello. I can't, I'm excited to burn this one. Yeah. But lots of lemons here. So I don't know which one I'll do first. Okay, sticking with fruit, let's do this one. It's Clementine Surprise. Again, I love citrus in the summer, so I had to buy a bunch of them. 
Um, these labels, this one's not my favorite. Again, there were a lot sort of in the same kind of style. Um, not my favorite, but I had to try the Clementine. Okay, the notes here are Juicy Clementine, Orange, Mandarin, and Woods. So I'm expecting maybe a hint of cologne at the end of this one. I'm not sure it's there. I'm not sure I'm loving this one. It's kind of, um, yeah, it smells like oranges, uh, kind of basic, but not very interesting. Um, I don't get the woods at the end, but it's something at the end. And I can't, I can't quite put my finger on it, but there's something there at the very end of this fragrance. And I, to me, it smells a little coconutty. Maybe that's the tropicalness of it. I don't know. I'm interested on this one. I'll have to burn it to see. Sometimes they do change ever so slightly when they're burning, but I, it's very rare in my opinion to have a candle change drastically um, from when it's cold to burning. So sometimes they can really come to life, but most often I, I'm not sure that that's a thing. Um, okay. Next up is Pink Grapefruit Acai. And again, this label is definitely not my favorite, but I love, love, love grapefruit fragrances. I love like grapefruit flavored things. So I had to try this one. Pink grapefruit, acai berry, blackberry, and black currant. Oh, that's interesting too. I'm not sure about that one either. Definitely grapefruit at the front, heavy on the grapefruit, but right in the middle there, I, you get that blackberry and it and it's sort of um you know where a citrus fruit really you know is really really tart it sort of you know pulls it down a little bit and makes it a little earthy in a way so it's not a cologne but there's something there's something in there that i don't know i'm not sure if i'm liking that one to be honest with you i'll, I'll have to let you know further once i burn that one what i think but um hmm we're not crushing it here are we um, I thought we were going to really love everything, but those, I think last two were just, I would say, okay. Sorry, this is turning into a long video. I have a lot of candles though. Okay, moving on. There's a collection here of, these are more um, conceptual kind of beachy candles. I have two of them. The first one I chose was Island Bliss. And I didn't even read the description online. I just like kind of was like, okay, let's try it. Give it a go. So the notes on this one are, Island Waters, Soft Coconut, Kiwi, Mandarin, Jasmine, and Vanilla. Oh, that's lovely. This is so beachy though. Like this is a beach candle. It smells like, it smells like you're lying outside on the beach and the person next to you has sunscreen on and the person on the other side of you has perfume and you can smell the ocean and the sand in the background. It is so good. I love, love, love. I hate conceptual candles. I never really like them. This is so good. I love it. I love, love, love it. Island Bliss. Highly recommend Island Bliss. Okay. The next one I got, and I already smelled this one. I know I love this one. This is called Sunlit Sands. How pretty are these labels though? Like, come on. Like these next to each other, these are so pretty. Okay. The notes on this one are warm sands, pineapple, mango, coconut and soft banana. That's why I love it. I love banana scents. Oh, it is so good. Pineapple, mango, coconut, and banana in this and warm sands. That's exactly what it smells like. It smells like a tropical drink on a beach. It's so good, but it's not the tropical kind of fragrance in the fruits is not overpowering and tart and tangy. Um, it's sweet and there's also like a hint of perfume in there. It is, these two are so good. I love them. I love them both. And they're not, the perfume kind of note in both of those is not overpowering. Like you're not gonna light that candle and it'll be like, ah, I'm dying. It's, it's light, it's soft, it's really, really lovely. Okay, next up I wanted to share, that I got two of this kind of style jar as well. I thought these black candles looked so cool. I have a lot of black decor in my home, so I thought that they would match really well. 
Um, so I love coconut too in the summer. So drenched coconut, had to grab one of these. The notes are coconut, island rain, cedarwood, amber, and beach flowers, and vanilla. Um, to me, this just smells like coconut and maybe, maybe some vanilla in there. But I don't want like an overly complex coconut fragrance. When I have a coconut fragrance, I just want it to smell like coconut. If it's good on its own, we don't have to like fuss with it too much. And I think this does a pretty good job. Um, it's like fine. If you want a coconut fragrance, get this. It's not super intricate. It's not um, reinventing the wheel or anything. Um, but the label's cute. I like it better than, um, I think it's Tiki, is it Tiki Beach or Waikiki Beach or something like that from Bath and Body Works. I like this better than that one. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a nice coconut. Okay, now I know I love this one too. I already started burning this one, as you can see. Um, this is Jungle Cherry Orchid. And when I got this one, I was like, I have to burn this immediately, if not sooner. Uh, the notes here are green leaves, cherry, jasmine, orchid, and vanilla musk. This smells so good. You get that cherry right off the bat. And then kind of comes in the, the jasmine, the orchid, and vanilla. So it's cherry, it's floral, there's a hint of vanilla at the end. This might be one of my favorite summer candles ever. It smells so good. It's fruity and floral at the same time, but also not overpowering in any way. It smells great. I love this one. This is a great job. And this is different. That's what I like. This is something different. I've never had a fragrance like this before ever. So I really appreciate that. I'm telling you, Goose Creek hit it out of the park this summer. They really did. This will be it for me on the summer haul. Now, I had to share my most favorite of them all. I've already kind of already finished this one again because as soon as I got it, I couldn't wait. This smells so good. Um, this is Key Lime Cake Pop. Cake Pop. I don't love the label, but I mean, whatever. The notes are Juicy Lime, Cake Batter, Vanilla Icing, and Sparkling Sugar. This smells to me like Yankee Candles. I think it was Key Lime and Vanilla. It smells so similar. Now I don't have one next to each other to compare. I don't even think they make that fragrance anymore, Yankee Candle, but back in the day, that was one of my absolute favorites. This is the closest thing I've smelled to that. As you can see, I'm already almost done with it. You know how Goose Creek candles can be sometimes. We've got a little bit of soot. I'm not really a candle babysitter so good. Like I don't trim my wicks like I'm supposed to and that type of thing. Um, so I, I tend to get a little bit of soot in mine. I will say it doesn't really affect the fragrance, I don't think. Um, but if that sort of darkness really bothers you as candles burn, maybe try to be a little more attentive than I am. But um, this is my top pick for spring and summer. This smells amazing. Um, I, you know, I'm really happy with all of my Goose Creek picks. I didn't pick anything up from Kringle. Again, their summer, their summer offerings were like just fine to me. Um, but here we are, the second week of June, almost over. So you know what's coming. Fall is coming. Generally, in my opinion, Bath and Body Works is like the king of fall. So I'm always excited to see what, what's coming down the pike from them. And uh, hopefully you'll be seeing a lot more of me as we head on into cozy season. Thanks for being here. Talk to you later.